Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the construction on how to find the line of reflection. Let's start by understanding the situation. We were given a line segment AB, and then this line segment got reflected and it landed on the image of A prime B prime. And what we want to find out is what was the line that it was reflected on? We know that this line, it must be somewhere around here. It must be somewhere between the image and the pre-image. Now, what is the construction that we can do to precisely find this line of reflection? Let's concentrate on point A. When A was reflected, it landed on A prime. So the first thing that we want to do, now that we have identified the image and the pre-image, we want to connect those points. Let's construct the perpendicular bisector on the line A, A prime. Let's get our compass. Let's get our compass and place it on A. And now what we want to do, we want to open our compass more than half the length of the line segment A, A prime. So this is about half. Let's just open it more than a half, which is about there. Let's create a mark on the top. And let's create a mark on the bottom. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's move the metal leg to A prime. And let's look for the intersection on the top. And let's look for the intersection on the bottom. Let's not connect those marks. Let's not connect those marks yet. Let's repeat the same process for now for point B and B prime. Let's start by connecting those points. Now let's move our metal leg to B. And let's open it up more than half the distance from B to B prime. So there's about half the distance. Let's just open it more than a half. It's about there. Let's create a mark on the top. And let's create a mark on the bottom. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's move the metal leg to B prime. And let's look for that intersection on the top and bottom. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Now notice that all of those marks line up. We can find a line that passes through those four intersections that we have just found. Let's create that line. Now this line that we have just created here, it's the line of reflection that we were looking for. So we are done. Let's take a look at another example. So let's understand the situation. Here we have triangle ABC. And it was reflected over some line. And at the location of the image, it's at A prime, B prime, C prime. Let's find the line of reflection. So let's concentrate on point C. Let's start by connecting the image and the pre-image. Now let's create a perpendicular bisector on the line C, C prime. Let's place our metal leg on C and find more than half the distance from C to C prime. This is about a half, so let's just find more than a half. And now let's create a mark on the top and let's create a mark on the bottom. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's move the metal leg to C prime. And let's look for that intersection on the top. And let's look for that intersection on the bottom. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's not connect those two intersections yet. You need minimum four marks. So to get the other two marks, let's concentrate on point A and A prime. Now let's connect those points. Let's move the metal leg of the compass on point A. And let's just open it up more than half the distance from A to A prime. Let's create a mark on the top. And let's create a mark on the bottom. Without changing the length of my compass, now let's move the metal leg to A prime. And let's find the intersection on the top. And let's find the intersection on the bottom. Let's clean this up a little bit. But to find the line of reflection, you only need the perpendicular bisector of two set of points. We have found the perpendicular bisector of A, A prime, and the perpendicular bisector of C, C prime. So we do not need to do point B. Now let's create the line that passes through the four intersections that we have just found. So we are done. We can say that M is the line of reflection.
Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.